Hello and welcome to Qualys coverage of Patch Tuesday for June 2012. My name is Wolfgang Kandik, I'm Qualys' CTO. My name is Amul and I'm Director of Vulnerability Engineering. Great, so in June, uh, we were actually looking forward to a reasonably quiet Patch Tuesday, but uh, with the, some of the changes that have happened, there has actually been uh, some action here on, on Patch Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Just recently, just a couple hours ago, Microsoft released a security advisory for zero-day vulnerability in uh, among what service is it? Uh, MS XML core services. Okay, so uh, attack vector is apparently through the browser. Uh, Google and Quiho 360 Security Center reported it apparently to Microsoft uh, just uh, end of last month, May 30th, and has been under attack now and apparently serious enough to come out with an advisory that um, this exists and what do users can do right now? So there is a fix it button that users can use and that will temporarily uh, basically not have the malicious code execute. Okay, so basically a workaround at this point in time, uh, no patch yet, and we'll see if, if Microsoft will maybe do an out of band patch for the vulnerability if, uh, if it gets any more serious than that. Other than that, Normal Patch Tuesday, what else do we have then? For Patch Tuesday, Microsoft uh, removed one of the uh, advisories that they announced earlier, which was the Office and Visual Basic advisory. Okay. And that was replaced, that is MS-12039, uh, and that was replaced by the Lynx LYNC uh, software from Microsoft. That's the instant messenger client for enterprise. Uh, so that one got, the Office one came out, uh, Link one came in. It's interesting, both of them had a DLL preloading vulnerability inside, which uh, can actually be you know, remediated by using that patch from last year that changes the, the working directory for the DLL loading. So that's uh, definitely a, a patch that we recommend installing because DLL preloading vulnerabilities, yeah, they show up all over. All right. So what's the most urgent one uh, beyond maybe that zero-day uh, workaround? So beyond the zero-day, which uh, also I would like to note that is not in the Patch Tuesday bulletin. So if you are looking for it, you should search for Knowledge Base Article 2719615. Uh, beyond that and uh, mm, beyond MS-1239, I think the highest priority today goes to the Internet Explorer bulletin, MS-1238. Okay, so Internet Explorer, well, uh, software that is used a lot, uh, also has a number of vulnerabilities in there. I think they fixed 12 vulnerabilities in that mm -hmm. particular patch. One of them is actually uh, in targeted use in the wild. So that's probably the reason to patch that particular vulnerability as quickly as possible. So Internet Explorer is on the top of our list. Internet Explorer is on the top on the list. Uh, second uh, on the list is uh, RDP, the Remote Desktop uh, Vulnerability. Mm -hmm. And that vulnerability affects uh, windows that have RDP enabled. Users can basically, uh, without authentication, cause a denial of service or code execution. Okay. So the more serious um, aspects are actually in the newer Windows operating mm -hmm. systems at Vista and above. Interesting is internally found at Microsoft, apparently in the audit for the previous RDP vulnerability that was in March, MS-12020, Microsoft found a number of other instances in the code that mm -hmm. could be used to attack and they fixed it now. Uh, we hope that you have already secured your RDP installations. Uh, we recommend either firewalling it or putting it behind a VPN gateway or activating the um, NLA, the network level authentication layer. That seems to be um, mm -hmm. more robust and would also have helped as a workaround in this particular vulnerability. That's right. What else? Uh, flame. Oh, Flame, yeah, the Flame malware. Uh, it's been out for two weeks now or mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, everybody's investigating it, including Microsoft, and we have daily new results. Um, I think the most important one is that the Flame malware was signed with uh, a key from Microsoft. So it appeared to be coming from Microsoft and probably evaded uh, many antivirus detection routines mm -hmm. just because of that fact that it looked very legitimate. Uh, Microsoft investigated that. It's a signing problem. Um, 
They have a certificate or they emitted certificates that can be used to sign code. That was fixed about Sunday a week ago, about 10 days ago now. So that's a very important advisory for you to install. Uh, very simple too, no code change, just eliminates the three offending certificates from the store. So Mal, what what's the KB number for that particular advisory? The KB number for that is uh, 2718704. Okay, so that one's important to, to install, will be an immediate workaround. In the meantime, um, Microsoft is hardening the entire Windows update infrastructure with new code and when when do we expect that to come out they haven't announced officially the date but it would it would give today's patch tuesday installations good enough time so that all patches are installed but also would uh, be a little like, like a few weeks before next patch tuesday so that everyone is ready with the new windows update okay so basically that new windows update client will come out sometime in the next couple of days probably and it will be much pickier about what code and what code signatures can be accepted. And I think it will also be pickier mm -hmm. about what sites the code can come from, both kind of flaws in the current Windows Update client that, that will be addressed. I think that's it for Microsoft. Uh, Adobe had a new Flash player on Friday, critical vulnerabilities in there, so you should update that. Um, and uh, what's Java. Up? Oh, Java, yes. So new Java version is expected today, has not come out yet at the moment, so we don't know what's going to be in it. We expect that the update will be rated critical, so um, recommend for you to take a look at Java. We know that that is um, often attacked mm -hmm. by malware authors, so it makes sense to update it or at least to take a look and know what you have installed and how you can potentially secure it. Anything else? That's it. That's it? Okay. Hope you had a good patch Tuesday. Hope this information helps and we see you again next month.